you had Azure and you had uh, Google Cloud uh, come out with, you know, <laughs> some of their answers to generative uh, AI and AWS uh, laid out its generative AI play and uh, yesterday, in fact, and I had a chance to talk to uh, AWS Vice President and General Manager Broughton Saha, who runs uh, AIML, and he's a six, most importantly, he's six five alumni. Uh, we uh, had a conversation with him uh, in um, at um, uh, not reInvent, but um, uh, their conference that had space and AI. Have I forgotten? Remars. Uh, apologies. So. Here's what they came out with. So here's the news. So they brought about brought out what's called Amazon Bedrock. Okay, and that's in limited preview. Uh, foundational models, best in breed foundational models from uh, people you would know, like AI21 Labs, Anthropic, uh, Stability AI, the folks who do Stable Diffusion, and they brought out their own foundational models called Titan. And they talked about uh, two of them being in, in preview. So they're running best of breed track and they're running uh, their own. Now, I'm not saying that, that Amazons aren't best in breed. We just don't know enough about them uh, at this point. The company also said that uh, it went GA on its uh, Trainium-based instances, talking about delivering up to 50% savings on training costs over any other EC2 instance, which by the way, that includes NVIDIA and Intel. Uh, Amazon uh, also went GA on EC2 Inf2, and this, this uses the new Inferentia 2 chip out there, and they're claiming up to 40% uh, savings on training costs over any other, uh, sorry, 40% better inference price performance than any comparable EC2 instances and the lowest cost inference for the cloud. And I think that uh, the first statement I think is, is in comparison to NVIDIA. And the second statement I think is in comparison to uh, Google's uh, uh, TPU. So read, read that off again, read that off again. I just wanna hear that one more time. Yeah, 40% better inference price per performance than other comparable EC2 instances and the lowest cost for inference in the cloud. Is this a swing, Pat? This is a huge swing, uh, uh, Daniel. Um, and I'm gonna get into more of that, but then they brought out Code Whisperer. Uh, which is essentially this companion for programming um, where they claim on average uh, participants using Code Whisper completed tasks 50% faster on average or 20% more likely to complete them successfully who didn't use Code Whisper. Again, huge measured claims that, uh, that, that the company is, is making here. So, Here's my net net on this. First of all, this is big, big, big for foundational models. This is more details and more holistic offering than I've seen than I've seen yet uh, to this date. The company is bringing out a complete line of uh, best of breed foundational models and two of its own. Uh, it it's, it bring out a complete line of homegrown training and inference services based on its own silicon with huge claims on lowest cost. By the way, the company did claim highest performance uh, based on uh, a lot of its technologies with the super clusters, its networking, and I believe that is likely uh, NVIDIA based. And then finally, a coding tool that supports a freaky amount of languages and IDEs. Literally, um, I don't know how they did this, but almost every language that I'm aware of and every modern IDE that's out there, by the way, including Visual Studio from, uh, uh, from Microsoft. So from what it looks like to me, the company is in a good place. Now, the uh, Trainium and Inferentia 2 inferences, those are GA, but Bedrock is in limited preview, but it did talk about some customers. So uh, it's not Vapor. And by the way, I have never seen AWS uh, bring out anything that ended up being vapor. Um, and you can expect 
uh, this to be, you know, bedrock to be GA in probably a year based on uh, how long it takes uh, AWS to go from uh, a preview to, to GA. Good showing. Yeah, absolutely, Pat. Um, look, it would have been a ridiculous notion for anybody to count out AWS and Amazon in this play. Remember the amount of data just from Alexa that Amazon has, though, to play with for for its its business. And I obviously, I'm I'm not trying to conflate AWS and you know data center uh, large language models and open source. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, it it's been kind of interesting because different companies have sort of been rolling out their first iterations at different paces and. You know, Google with its kind of market position felt a little bit more pressure to show its AI leadership. I don't think AWS feels exactly the same way about it. I think they're yeah. running their own race a little bit more. I uh, watched Andy Jassy's interview yesterday, kind of looking at it. He said something really uh, profound. He kind of said, look, you know, we have about 1% penetration of retail uh, right now, and the rest is still brick and mortar. And then he said, um, they have about 10% of, of, he said about 10% of IT spending right now is cloud. And he said the other 90% still is on-prem. And he said, if you believe that those two markets, e-commerce and cloud are gonna expand in the future, then Amazon's a pretty good bet. And I'm pointing that out because that, they did a shareholder letter, he went on CNBC, he doesn't talk much. But what I guess I'm saying is, Amazon has a lot of data, a lot of training data, a lot of, uh, reasons to try to create an efficient uh, offering for all of its enterprise clients to be able to utilize large language models and stay on Amazon and AWS platform. Additionally, AWS, I think, has a little bit of a bone to pick. You know, we've talked quite a bit about NVIDIA today, but has a little bit of a bone to pick after the DJX cloud offering and the decision not to offer that. And, you know, they're, it's sensible. Uh, AWS is the only one right now that has uh, GA silicon for training and inference, and they're more and more becoming competition. So yes, you can obviously run EC2 and you can do uh, all the instances are available with NVIDIA, with Gaudi, with uh, or Habana, you know, with the, the different offerings from the other silicon makers, but AWS plans to make its own hay in, in the silicon space. And I've been saying that pretty uh, specifically. So. When you look at companies that have massive sets of enterprise data in the cloud, proprietary data, I don't think there is a public cloud provider that has more data than AWS. It's just the largest public cloud provider by a distance right now. Um, and so the ability to turn that into a product that can be utilized by enterprises, government entities, et cetera, is going to be material, it's palpable. So I like it. I love the competition, Pat. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun kind of watching this. As analysts, this is the best. You know, we opine, we we kind of put our we put our thoughts out there on who's winning. I think AWS was ruled out too soon. I think they're gonna be making a bigger impact. And by the way, watch out for every cloud provider. I mean, you heard Oracle and NVIDIA just put their, their thoughts in the market this week. Everybody's gonna play, everybody's gonna make a play, and it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch what happens in this space in the coming months. Yeah, I don't think anybody with credibility ever had any doubts over over AWS. I mean, I saw the people who didn't. Who, there's a lot of people out there who can't disconnect. They, they they look at this as one homogeneous blob. When in fact, you have the consumer market, you have the B two B market, right? They're, first of all, they're they're very different, and then you have the B two B market who might be serving a B two C company. So. It's so much more complex, you know, doing a barred search and a and a Bing chat and, and saying, you know, who won the who won, won the AI war is lazy. OK, uh, you might be able to make that from a B2C statement and, and look at what Google and, and Microsoft are doing in the consumer space and say, where's Apple? Apple has not talked about anything. They are clearly behind in terms of at least announcing these things. And well, I have point, Siri. I have huh? Siri, which one's better? Oh gosh, I I use I don't even use it anymore because it's so horrible. bad. It's such a waste. Horrible. Um, hey, you want to you want to you want to poop on Apple a little bit? <laughs> no, I'd like to complete my thought if you don't mind. Oh, you're not uh, done? No, no. So uh, probably the, you know on your comment about um, Nvidia, 
right? Not only did NVIDIA put an IS, IS service that, that they sold with their own salespeople distributed through, um, distributed through CSPs like Google Cloud and Azure and Oracle, but they also brought out uh, NVIDIA AI foundations. These are their own foundational models that you run on top of DGX Cloud. So uh, IaaS and PaaS. So yeah, it doesn't look like that AWS uh, was interested yet uh, in, in that type of deal. Maybe we'll see it, maybe we won't. 